Whenever you talk about the most balanced smartphone around 20K, there's always one option that comes to mind. The Moto G82. This is a phone that launched Rs 21,499 last year and it has been going for Rs 19,99 and at this price, this has been a solid option until now because now the upgrade is here. This is the new Moto G84 5G and the big question is, is this actually a very good upgrade or is there some downgrade? Time to find out. See, the first thing to note here is the new Moto G84 5G has launched at Rs 19,99,18,499 if you consider the bank discount. So it's in fact priced lesser than what the G82 initially launched at. But you know what? That's not the impressive part. What's actually impressive is that the G84 is only launching in one variant and that has 12 GB RAM and 256 GB storage at 19,99. That is honestly insane at this price because I don't think there's any other phone that comes with a 12, 256 config under 20K. So yeah, a very good move, Motorola. Anyway, coming to the rest of the phone, another good move is that the G84 comes in the Pantone's color of the year, Viva Magenta, in a vegan leather finish. And this is the same that we have seen in the Edge 40 and even the Razer phones. And honestly, this is stunning. The striking color, this finish makes the G84 seem way more premium compared to most phones under 20K. I also like that there's another vegan leather option in the marshmallow blue color and there's a midnight blue variant with an acrylic finish if you like that more. So this is a good looking phone, but it's not just the looks. This has flatter sides, the curved back is gone from the G82, the camera module has changed, the volume rocker has separated buttons and this is even slimmer and lighter than the G82. This is just 7.6 millimeters thick and this weighs only 168 grams, which is very good, especially when most new phones these days are like 200 grams or more. The point is this feels great in the hands and if you like lightweight phones, you are going to like this. And this is especially good because the battery is still 5000 mAh just like the G82. So no compromises and since we're talking about battery, the G84 comes with a 33 watt fast charger in the box. Apart from that, the G84 retains the good and loud stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos while bringing in features like Motorola Spatial Sound and the phone also has the good old headphone jack. But one upgrade here is that this phone brings an in-display fingerprint scanner which I personally like more especially because it works well here. The IP rating is also now IP54 instead of IP52 on the G82. The display also on the G84 has got an upgrade. It's still P-OLED, FHD+, 120Hz, 10-bit with HDR10 plus support, but it now has a peak brightness of 1300 nits compared to 1000 nits in the last gen. I mean, we checked on the G84's display, did feel slightly brighter outdoors. Other than that, the bezels remain fairly narrow all around. There's no big chain and the P-OLED panel brings the vibrant colors and the deep blacks while being very smooth thanks to the 120Hz refresh rate. And it's basically a really nice OLED panel. The chipset hasn't changed. The G84 is part of the Snapdragon 695 with LPDDR4X RAM and UFS 2.2 storage. And I know Snapdragon 695 is same old, but it worked well on the G82 and works well here. The G84 scores around 450K on Android 2, which is good. And it does well in Geekbench. But benchmarks apart is the day-to-day -day performance where the phone seems very reliable. It's smooth and responsive, no lags at all. And gaming is good to beat something like Asphalt or even an intensive game like BJMI. See, the point is the Snapdragon 695 isn't the most powerful processor in its price segment, but it does its job well and is better than the likes of Exynos 1280 or the Snapdragon 4 Gen 2. So there's that. On the software front, the G84 comes with the latest Android 13 on board and this is a clean experience. It's clear that Motorola has listened to feedback and not included Glance or any weird bloatware apps. There are these Moto apps though, but most of these are pretty useful, be it Moto Secure, Family Space or something like Ready4 or the Moto Gestures. So yeah, I'm not complaining. When it comes to updates, Motorola has promised three years of security patches and at least one major OS update. So this will go to Android 14, but I'm really hoping Motorola takes it to Android 15 as well. Moving on to the camera, the G84 has no use this 2 megapixel sensor is just a 50 megapixel main camera with the ultra pixel tech and OIS which is great in this price segment and there's an 8 megapixel 120 degree ultra wide sensor that also works for depth in portrait shots and as a macro camera. Now I know Motorola phones are known for the cameras and Motorola knows it. Motorola confirmed to us that they have a new dedicated R&D camera team in India to improve the camera in Motorola smartphones and that sounds promising and as for the Moto G84 cameras they do seem pretty good so far. I mean daytime shots are very sharp detailed and nice low Low light shots are also good for a 20K phone and I like that OIS works in video so videos are stable and pretty good in terms of quality too. The one thing I would have liked more is 4K video recording here but that's still missing. The front camera is the same 16 megapixel sensor which does a fine job because the selfies have a natural tone and good sharpness. Motor phones have also been very solid in terms of connectivity and this is no different. This has 14 5G bands with VUNR support which is like Volti but with 5G. There's also 
Spotify for Mimo, 3C Academy aggregation, NFC support, and Bluetooth 5.1. So it's time to answer the big question. Is this a good upgrade over the Moto G82? Look, it's pretty clear that Motorola has taken the whole don't fix it if it ain't broke approach with the new Moto G84 5G. And Motorola has taken the Moto G82 and made it slightly better with the Moto G84. And that's fine because this too is a very solid all around balanced smartphone under 20K. And I think this is a good upgrade. I mean, if you think about it, it does not bump up the price. The improved design is important because the G82 had started to look kind of dull. The G84 with its vegan leather back, striking colors, just spices things up. And I love the fact that it only comes in a 12 to 56 GB variant. That's a big deal if you ask me. Anyway, I have a couple of questions for you guys. Is this a good upgrade to the very popular Moto G82? Is this the best phone under 20K? Comment down below and thanks for watching.